But I'm trying to, really, what I'm really trying to establish myself more is as a businessman. Like, I want people to look at me more as a businessman, you know, but there was an artist, an ex artist, or whatever the fuck, you know. And all, like I said, I still do features here, a song here with some artists and shit. But I just don't want to, like, that's why, like, I, like, I want to say, like, five, six years max. Stop yeah? I stopped doing shit on, you know, like, busting, like, like doing even on radios and all that shit, though. Like, I just, like, like I won't even bust a written verse, no? like, you know. And it's like, it has, I, I don't know, and then, but it has a lot to do with, like I said, like I'm trying to portray myself more of a businessman, and also, like, I feel like, a, like, like I don't know, like, I'm just all, like, I'm slacked out more, like, I just don't feel it, like, like in my heart, you know, like, to just fucking bust anymore, though, you know, I just, you know, like, if, like, if I'm not going to give it my 100%, I just won't do it, because I don't want to make myself look bad, and I don't want to make the show look bad, you know, or, or, or your interview, you know, shit like that. So that's why I, I just I, I look at it like if I jump on a song or somebody, if I'm not feeling the beat, I just want to jump on it. You know what I'm saying? Like I just want, like I just want, you know, like I gotta be 100. Like okay, this is dope. I want to, I want to get on it. You know, then I'll get on it. You know, and I won't even charge people, dude. You know, like like I'm shit, like, some shit like that. You know. What about your recent project, the looming of the Lucy? I mean, and that and that project was supposed to be me for me. But I turned it over to fucking one of his homies uh, with uh, uh, Jay Supreme. I brought him in because for the same reason is that I was I was just gonna I was just trying to establish myself as a feature artist. On there. That's why the other one, the other I'm gonna drink the other one. Uh, what's the one called? Uh, Who got stroke? That one. That one was supposed to be all me. And I brought the homie Jay Supreme in. And I brought Abu Sibo on that shit too because I just like I really I'm not in the mood right now like to fucking like do shit as an artist anymore. You know. Like, I'm just, I'm just trying to do the business side now, you know? Yeah. So I'm trying, little by little, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to establish myself more on that, you know? That's why I really don't, like, I'll promote shit that I featured on, but I really don't promote nothing that's for myself, because I really ain't got, I'm really not trying to promote myself for that. You know, like, like I said, that, that loony shit was just more, more of a fucking, uh, 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 doing the, other, the little homie a favor, the, the other youngster, Jason Payne, but because it was, the homie Looney asking me to do, you know, and so I said, fuck it, I'll, I'll, I'll jump on it regardless, though, you know? And then the beats, I was filming the beats, so that was another thing, too, you know? You know, see, you know, you're talking about you portraying yourself as a businessman. Tell us a little bit about your your roles in Pueblo Cafe, Tom Rouge, and Black Royal. Well, my role in Pueblo Cafe is more like, uh, I'm an artist, rap artist, you know? And we haven't been doing the Pueblo Cafe stuff for a minute now because, one, the, the homie, uh, the homie, uh, Brown Widow, he, you know, he, 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 he's, 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 he's having health issues right now, so, so that's another thing, we can't do shows and stuff like that, and then, uh, and two, I just ain't, I really ain't feeling it right now, though, to, the hip-hop game, dude, I just ain't feeling it as an artist, though, I'm like, I'm not really trying to be an artist no more, you know, like, like a rap artist, like, I'm more focused on doing, uh, you know, the, the, the acting, and the business side of it, managing, you know, and, and, and developing shit like that. But as Pueblo Cafe, I mean, we're always going to rep it, you know, because it's always there. It started off as Brown Town Looters, you know, and, and, and as Brown Town, Brown Town Looters and Pueblo Cafe, and it's always going to be there. And, I, and, and I'm always going to rep it as Pueblo Cafe when I come out and do a feature with some shit, you know, like I'll, I'll do features, but I just won't, I just won't focus on doing a whole album now, you know, like before, you know, like, because now I, I'm just so stuck on the, on the business side of it now that I'm just like, it's more intriguing to me that now that they're trying to be a rapper or, or shit like that, you know. Like, there's a whole other younger generation that needs to come out right now, you know? So that's my that's my main goal right now, is to help the younger generation. And I'll still I'll still be there, not, you know, guy motherfuckers and shit, and, 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 you know, but I'm not trying to hog up the limelight or trying to be in the limelight 24-7, you know? It's like, if I, you know, there's plenty of that shit to go around, so it's like, you know, it's like, why, why be, why be a, 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 a fucking attention or a limelight, you know? It's just trying to fucking hog it all up. Have I've had my I've had my time, you know. I've done my shit. I got a lot of shit going on already too, you know. Other shit, you know. So, so it's like, but Puerto Cafe is always gonna be there. And like I said, you know, for the most part, my my, my main thing now is the business side and shit. You know? What about Black Royal? And going to um, the Black Royal thing, that's a, a a whole nother a whole nother thing. But it all ties in with the music, acting. You know, the whole shebang of entertainment, it's, it's an organization that was created by Tito, you know, uh, 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 aka Screw, you know, Screw Daddy, and uh, um, rest in peace, you know, he's no longer with us, you know, but I never got to meet the dude, but but I've, I've heard so much about him, you know, and I've, and I've done a, a lot of uh, reading about him, and you know, I've heard of the people that were, like, like, you know, like, 
family with, you know, by his side, like family members, you know, like those, you know, like, like brothers, cousins, you know, stuff like that, stuff like that. You know, like shout out to all the cats, you know, in New Jersey, you know, Tito Grams and Fury and AK, all these cats, you know, they, they, they run in Block Royal on the East Coast. But now they put me in charge of the West Coast and plus a few other chapters around the world, you know? And that's where the Block Royal Rumors comes into play. And what it is, it's just an organization worldwide, you know, and we're trying to, we're trying to uh, promote everybody's shit, you know, you, you, got, you got a new album coming out, you got a mixtape coming out, you got a, a, a movie, you know, we got actors in this, you know, DJs, you know, whatever, you know, it's just a, it's just a brotherhood and, and just helping everybody out, you know, just one big empire around the world, just to help cats around the world, you know. You know, that whole, that whole helping out thing is rare now, man. I mean, too many people nowadays. I think they're just, uh, they're just sitting for themselves, you know? Everybody's just trying to come up, you know, and, and, and do what they can, you know, and I understand, I understand that because you know, at the end of the day, you, you know, you need to survive, you know? But the way I see it is that, that we need to help each other out, you know? We need to be one big team because the more people we have in one big team, you know what I'm saying? The, the, better, the better chances we have as a community and as a, as a culture and a hip hop in general to evolve and, and, and stay on top, you know? And the thing is that no, nobody wants to help each other out because everybody's too worried about trying to get that limelight and nobody wants anybody else to hog up the limelight, you know? Or, or get that last fight, you know? Like, it's like, I look at it like, if, if I got something cracking and I can get the next man in involved, you know, that has talent, that has something to offer, I'm gonna bring it in. I'm not just gonna bring anybody in either, just anybody, you know? There's gotta be somebody that's on their hustle and, 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 and that's willing to work work for it too, you know, because it takes it takes a lot of work, you know? It doesn't happen overnight. So that's the thing though, that a lot of people don't wanna help each other out, you know? They wanna they, they just wanna step over people and think they're gonna make it. But you know, it's, it goes back to the old saying, you know, the, the faster you come up, the, the faster you go down. And the, when you go down, the same people you step on the way up, you're gonna see them motherfuckers on the way back down, you know? So you know, so uh, as, 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 as people, we got we need to help each other out, man.